Hey, what's up you guys? Welcome back to my channel. My name is Tuesday and I love unboxing fashion with all of you. It's like 80 degrees outside, but in my heart, it's cozy time, which has me searching for things like sweaters and scarves and leggings. Now I know everybody else has been wearing leggings all year long. This is 2020 after all. But for me, leggings are something that I don't typically go to and I kind of reserve them for these cooler months. So not too long ago, Target allowed me to indulge my cozy obsessions by having a sale on leggings and I picked up a few pairs that I'm excited to try on and share with you guys. So stay tuned. Leggings can be a really hard item to shop for because if they don't fit quite right, then they just end up in the back of your drawer or in a pile that's going to Goodwill. For me, leggings need to be snug uh, without cutting off your circulation. They also need to not have so much stretch that they you feel like you're continually pulling them up. I've had more than a few pairs of those. Um, I need them to have a nice band at the waist so that they're actually comfortable and not cutting into me. And I need them to be opaque. We all know that problem. You don't want leggings that are so thin that when you bend over, everybody gets a show. Um, so I picked out, I think five or six leggings from Target. So you know, these are all super affordable um, and have them sent to me so that I could try them out and see if I could find a few pairs to add to my closet. Um, and I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time like going on and on about it. I'm just going to jump right into it. So the first pair that I have um, are by Assets by Sarah Blakely, which is a division of Spanx. For those of you who know, you know, I love all things Spanx. I am a big Spanx fan and I was actually introduced to Spanx via their leggings. I actually won them in a contest, if you can believe that. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> actually have pretty good luck when it comes to contests. But anyway, um, yeah, so my very first Spanx item was a pair of black moto faux leather leggings. I fell in love with them and that like led to an avalanche of further Spanx things. So now I have a few pairs of Spanx leggings in my repertoire, um, but I'm just gonna be honest, I don't have Spanx cash right now. So I'm trying to look for something that is a little more um, budget friendly for me. Although I feel like Spanx leggings are a good investment. Um, anyway, so I picked these up hoping they would have some of the same qualities as the original Spanx. Now we all know that the offshoots of Spanx, the kind of like, um, you know, lower tier brands that are part of the Spanx, you know, family of products don't always live up to the same hype. I've had, um, so other, several other assets products and they've been kind of hit or miss. Um, so we'll see how these work out. I haven't tried any of these leggings on just for the record. Um, but these are these like faux leather leggings. They kind of have that like liquid leather feel to them, but they do have that stretchy, you know, panel to hold everything in. They are designed to have some shaping in them. That's what it said on the package that they came in. So we'll see how these work out. Next up is a pair by a division called All In Motion. I believe this is a Target brand. These are more like a traditional like workout legging. They do have a wide band on them, which I can totally appreciate. Um, they don't have any pockets on them, which is fine. Although, you know, I like a pocket. Sometimes on leggings, they're just kind of superfluous because the minute you put something into the pocket of a leggings you 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 start like bringing the legging down like you're weighing it down and so it's like slipping off your body and that's no fun because then you're constantly doing that pulling thing that I'm trying to avoid um these they do have a hidden pocket in the um in the waistband it's up here at the top right there perfect which is actually big enough to put like a credit card or your ID or something in there um it's a mid-rise legging and like I said, it's more like a traditional, like kind of athletic legging or workout legging. Um, it has that same kind of, you know, stretchy material to it. And yeah, that's pretty much all there is to say about those. Next up is a Ponty legging. This one is by A New Day, which is one of the collections at Target. 
So again, it has that nice wide band on it. I really appreciate the wide band. I feel like that really helps make it a little more comfortable. It's made for more of a like knit material. Um, and it looks like it might be a little short on the leg, but that's okay. Again, no pockets, but just a nice, um, just solid back seam. Um, yeah, this is a just great solid pair of leggings. Okay, next is, dig in my little bag of tricks here. Okay, this pair is, um, again, kind of like that stretchy, shiny, faux leather-like material. Um, I, I, I'm getting like, um, uh, grease vibes from these. <laughs> I'm just waiting for like Olivia Newton John to come out. Anyway, um, these are by Wild Fable. Again, another Target division. Again, a nice wide band on here. They have good stretch on them. So these particular leggings, I got in two sizes. I got a medium and I got a large. Based on the reviews that I saw, they said to size down because the large seemed really, you know, like um, the sizing seemed a little big to run a little big. So I got my normal large and then I also got the medium. And the reason that I went ahead and got both and didn't just trust the, um, the reviewers is because Wild Fable tends to be more of a junior sizing. And so I was a little bit skeptical when they said, you know, they run large. I was like, oh, well on my like, you know, fully woman figure, they might, you know, a large might be true to size. So anyways, I got a large and a medium. So one will go back. We'll just see how they work out. Then I have a pair of another kind of Ponty knit legging. I'm trying to get it off the hanger here. I believe these are by a new day as well, but they have a slightly different feel to them. Yes. Okay. So these are, again, a wide band, but not as wide as some of the others. And again, it's that kind of knit material, but this one is a little bit softer. It feels a little bit more like a, um, more like a traditional legging that you, you know, is definitely designed to be worn under something and not so much as a pant. Although I will say it is a nice hefty weight to it. It's not like opaque. You're not gonna be, you know, I don't think you're gonna see too much, too much of your goods through there, but, um, yeah, that's a nice, nice pant. Okay, and then that might be everything in here. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Because the other thing in here is the other pair of leggings, the Wild Fable leggings um, in a medium. Okay, that's all the leggings. Who's ready to see them and see what I, what I think? Good. I'm glad you guys are ready because it's coming at you right What is that weird noise? Okay, let me start with this pair of assets by uh, Sarah Blakely, kind of Spanx-like leather leggings. They make such a weird noise when you move in them. They like squeak. <laughs> They're like rubber and that's what they look like on. Not that they weren't cute, just weird. Um, the sizing on them, I think, is a little bit small. As with a lot of Spanx products, I probably could have sized up on them. I just felt like the crotch in them was a little, uh, wasn't hitting me where it should have. And I really struggled to get these on. I just feel like one more size up might be a little more comfortable. Although these did give me the, um, did give me great, um, uh, a great like figure like they were very flattering in the tummy area um otherwise the length is good and the more you wear them the more comfortable they got so there's that but overall i think these are going to be going back the next pair of leggings was the all in motion contour simplicity mid-rise legging and i actually really really like these they were so comfortable um they had not too much stretch in them they're really soft i love the um seaming on them it just really kind of contoured the body kind of like their name suggests although they do have a pocket in the waist I just don't really have any use for it. The length on it's really good. My only concern is whether these are going to pill or not, but I think for the price that I paid for them, um, they'll, they will probably be just fine. And the pricing actually, uh, they were $20. I'll have to find the pricing on the assets um, 
items. Um, I'm going to try and put the pricing actually on the screen for you guys so um, you don't have to look, look it up, but otherwise the items will be listed in the description bar below. The next pair of pants are these Ponte uh, New Day, a New Day leggings in black. They're size large. They're $25. And these are the ones that fit most like pants. Uh, again, I loved the waistline on them because it just really fit across the tummy really well. I will say all of these leggings fit across the tummy really well. That wide panel, that wide banding just really did wonders. Um, these, like I said, are probably the ones that were most pant-like. So I could see myself wearing these with a jacket or like kind of a dress shirt tucking something into them. They're, they're very comfortable, but it did feel like they were just a little bit big in the crotch, just a little more material there than I was anticipating. I feel like I actually probably could have sized down in these and been just as comfortable um, but when you see the other pair of Ponte leggings that I have in this haul, uh, you'll understand why I'm probably just going to pass on these. The next pair of leggings is the Wild Faber, Fable kind of liquid leather legging. It's not like leather at all. It's just a really shiny, stretchy material. Um, the first pair that I tried on were a large. Again, nice fit in the waist. Um, and they went on nicely, unlike the Assets uh, leggings. These went on a lot easier. Um, because they are that kind of shiny sheen material i'm concerned that over time they will kind of like stretch and get that weird kind of white cast that these kinds of leggings do tend to get which is the only reason i'm leaning towards getting the large over the medium the medium which you'll see in the next clip um do fit but like they fit <laughs> you know and i feel like the large leaves me a little bit of room um for stretch i don't know i really just couldn't tell i was on the fence about which one to get Something in the back of my head tells me I should probably get both of them. Um, just, you know, kind of depending on how I feel on a particular day, but we'll see about those. Overall though, I did like them. The one thing I liked about all of these leggings is that the length on them was really great for me. So they weren't too short. I felt comfortable in them and not like they were capris. Um, the kind of stretchy, sat, super shiny ones, I feel like will definitely need to be worn with some kind of tunic top to kind of cover the rear. I just don't feel like they're quite up to the level of quality to be worn on their own as quote unquote pants. Let's face it, ladies, leggings are just really not pants, but they can be a great substitute. All right. Um, next up is the last pair of Ponty pants, also by A New Day, but these are the ones that are closer to leggings. And you know what? I actually really, really love these. They fit perfectly. They just hug all of the curves. Um, again, a really nice waistband, a really clean line. They do have a seam on the side. I appreciated that the uh, Wild Fable ones didn't have seams down the side, but it's not, it doesn't also doesn't bother me. Um, these are really comfortable. I felt like they were the, like the sizing was good, that they weren't going to stretch out on me. Um, and they are substantial enough that, um, I'm not concerned about, you know, what, what I wear them with, if I'm going to, you know, give a peep show if I <laughs> bend over. Um, so yeah, so of all of the leggings that I tried, the ones that I think I'm going to be keeping are the last pair of Wild Fable Ponty Pants. I'm gonna keep at least one of these new uh, Wild Fable super sh kind of shiny leggings. I really do love these. I think they're gonna be a great substitute for kind of these faux leather leggings that we've been seeing everywhere. And I will probably also keep um, the traditional athletic style leggings. Um, yeah, that's the whole shebang. I hope this was helpful for you guys. If you have questions about leggings, sizing, fit, you know, other Target leggings, or you'd like to see more hauls of something else, definitely leave all of that in the comments below. Be sure to go follow me on Instagram so that you can see me style these leggings up over the next few weeks as I get a little more cozy and the temperatures 
maybe start to drop. It's going to be a minute. Um, and then also be sure to give this video a like if you loved what you saw and be sure to subscribe so you can see when the next video drops. Until the next time I talk to you, you know what to do. Please live with love. Bye.